So as an example of how some of these templates work with a project that I'm using in this new format, um, I can show you how I load in a very simple fashion to get a, a base floor plan sheet established in layout. You can see actually how quick it is. I will um, load in a file. So I will go to File, Insert, and I'm going to go ahead and choose a project. And I'll choose one that I'm currently working on. Uh, so it's not a larger project. Uh, this will help with doing something quickly here and show it how it fits on a sheet. And I will choose that file, in this case, Plan 3. And before I load that, I mean, you don't have to, but it's good to be sure, I should have the correct layer selected. You can also do it afterwards, but it's nice to have it preset. And I will open that file. It'll just take a minute. Typically it opens up at your last save scene. So I'm going to first go ahead and choose the scene that I want. I want it to be the first floor plan. And it's on auto render, so it's going to take a couple. It'll go pretty fast here because I've got a fairly fast machine. So I'm going to set that at quarter inch. When you select the scale, it automatically chooses preserve scale. And then I will size the window. I usually max it out for floor plans because on a lot of homes I have sometimes patios and other portions of the home that get a little large. This one really not so much. It's not a very big home. So there I have my floor plan and then to get the line work quickly I just select the plan line work layer. Um, I've already got the SketchUp model selected so I will just hit copy. I'll hit paste so it'll be pasted in place. Um, this is actually a very key thing to setting up your scenes in SketchUp is to make sure that you have everything aligned correctly. Uh, it's a very simple task to do because you can either create a square around your entire model or if you have a setback line you preserve that in each one of your scenes, maximize the scene setting, that way the screen maximizes to the exact same size and everything will align. So now here I've got a copy of the SketchUp model on the plan line work layer directly over the previous SketchUp model that was already in place. And now I'm just going to change the scene to first floor line work and then I'm going to vector render it. And so now I've got them two aligned perfectly. Let's zoom in, you can see. And I've got nice clean line work directly over the raster image of the floor plan. And so you would just do the same thing for each floor plan. If you wanted to keep the template the same or, or use your template and you have a blank sheet here, there's lots of simple ways you can do this. You can actually use the same copy method if you wanted to. You could just copy, right now I'm copying the SketchUp model. I can go to page two, hit SketchUp model. I can hit edit paste. Then I can select the second floor plan. And then I can either copy the line worker if I want to, but I don't need to. I can just copy this one right here and do edit copy, edit paste, same routine. And then I go to ch select my vector line work scene, which is second floor line work, vector render. Obviously you can click that box so that doesn't show each time. Uh, and then I've got again the second floor now, vector rendered and aligned perfectly with the previous page. What's nice about this is when I do and set up my grid lines, I can set the grid lines to be on every single page and then I can run them off the first floor before I number and letter them, then do the same thing off the second floor, which will add to it, then I number and letter all of them and I know that I've got them covered for both floors. Because there may be some grid lines on the upper floor that are not reflective of a grid line on the first floor. For instance, this corner of the stairwell here actually isn't, doesn't have an outside corner. It does happen to be this inside wall, but I may not have picked that up on the first floor if I had set that grid only on that floor. 
So likewise for the roof plan, you do the same thing. The roof plan, I can just copy this SketchUp model window, place it here. I'm going to make sure I'm on the SketchUp model layer, and then I'm going to paste. Uh, this is actually a good example of why and how layout functions with selecting layers and not preserving specific elements on a specific layer between sheets because it's important to have that flexibility to place any object on a specific layer and that's done by actually selecting those layers uh, ahead of time and in this case I'm actually converting what was something on a SketchUp model layer to what is on a plan line work layer and it's nice to be able to have that control so in this just to get the last sheet of this set, a basic set of drawings, is to render the roof plan. And so now I have all three sheets set up, first floor, second floor, roof plan, and they're all aligned in the sheets, so they read very well, very clean, very easy to follow.